Welcome back, Fresh Bake, for an update on construction progress going on around the Disneyland Resort. And we have got a lot to cover today. There are so many little things going on, and a lot of it are very, very interesting. Um, so much so that stuff like Marvel Land is kind of in the back burner. But as we walk down Main Street, heading for Tomorrowland, you can see that all of Tomorrowland's entrance is completely obscured by these construction walls. It's not as interesting, though, as you might think it is. This is not the beginning of some new Tomorrowland thing happening, but it is still interesting nonetheless. This right here, where we're walking down, is pretty much the only way in. It's the main way into Tomorrowland, uh, unless you're coming from, let's say, the backside, Matterhorn. But uh, there's a lot going on here, and it all has to do mostly with the, with the French Fry Rocks and then some of the curb work. Uh, they're redoing planners, things of that nature. Here we're kind of curling around these construction walls to see that you can also enter via the uh, Pixie Hollow, uh, whatever you call it, little lake or whatever light show they do here. There's some of the new tile that has been put down. You can tell that it's new. It's a little more slippery, so be careful out there, guys, when you're walking. Uh, getting on the Astro Orbiter, let's stop and take a look at how things are looking now from the air. You can see that the construction progress has pushed its way towards Plaza Inn. In fact, Plaza Inn, you can, you can see the perimeter uh, of where there normally is that, that hedge row and then there's the, the concrete path. That's all been torn up to the point where, you know, it's, it's fully encroached onto the Plaza Inn and, in, and has also engulfed two of the planters that, uh, you know, not just, not just the French fry rocks, but the planters in front of them as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, Dustin pointed out who helps us with these construction uh, projects. They're they're putting in. I don't. I, I can't tell if if they have reduced the size of the planter. I'm not sure. They may have made it longer, but narrower. It's hard to tell. Uh, but Dustin pointed out that it looks like they're getting ready to. You can see there's a notch right there. It looks like they're getting ready to. That's a curb. That's going to be a curb. That's going to form the perimeter of the planter. But that notch is likely for something like a uh, wait time board like we saw previously over at the entrance of Plaza Inn. And it looks like they got a form going here. Now, does that mean it's a curb? I don't know. Or maybe the, the, the concrete walkway will rise to that level because you can see, as mentioned, they, they did tear out all the concrete. So that's not ground level. Ground level is going to be a little bit higher than what we're seeing. And we're going to get a new path, obviously, as it you know, passes by Plaza Inn and around the planter. Let's talk about that. The, uh, there's your definition of the planter that it's going to exist where the French fry rocks used to be. So you'll have, uh, you know, a couple different ways to get around that, you know, Plaza Inn in front of, uh, you know, the, 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 the middle entrance there, which is going to be significantly wider than it used to be. That's for sure without those French fry rocks in the way. And we'll keep going around for just a second and stop again. Uh, this pretty much looks like it always has. It has the last few weeks, I should say. Maybe last month or so. Not a lot of uh, visible progress here on this side. And it could be because of, you know, they're still working on, uh, you know, whatever uh, underground stuff. The, you can see there's conduit or I'm not sure if it's conduit or irrigation or what. As a matter of fact, uh, Remy, our... Instagram czar and part-time ninja got this shot. You can get a look at some of that, you know, the, the irrigation that's happening or the stuff that's happening below grade. Again, I don't know what lavender pipes mean. <laughs> I, I'm trying to learn, but uh, I don't know what lavender pipes mean. But uh, so I don't know because I thought I thought water was blue. I thought irrigation was blue, but I could be mistaken. I don't think I've actually, I don't think I've seen lavender before, but you can definitely tell there's a lot of, of work being done on the ground level there in front of where the EER building is. And we'll see in just a second as we continue. There's the EER building, the black one right there. And we'll pause here again. There, by the way, that's the door right here in the far left of the frame. That's the door and the steps leading down into that, that little structure whatever it is that exists in there, but that's how you access it. And they're keeping all of that still. It looks like they're keeping it, if, if possibly even creating more support for it. So that's definitely staying. No signs of that being removed at all. 
the only thing that remains unknown is how they're going to obscure it, if not by French fry rocks, because that's what is that is what obscured it before. It was covered in French fry rock. Uh, other thing to note is this circular um, or tubular, or whatever you want to call it, form. That's going to be for a light pole. Uh, you can see there's uh, rebar right here that they're going to be putting in there, I imagine, and then filling that up with who knows what uh, for that, you know, for that support for our light pole, most likely. Moving on, here's a look over the wall of one of those areas in front of the Plaza Inn. Uh, you can see we've got forms set up for a curb, and then the area in between those two sets of forms, this is going to be new, new concrete uh, walkway here for guests. And finally, just to look and see how far these walls go. That's all the way up and past Plaza Inn there. It is completely devoured, the Plaza Inn. All right, Remy took his camera over to Star or Space Mountain and the uh, Tomorrowland Theater, Path of the Jedi building. And what you're seeing here, there's a couple different projects going on at, at, uh, in this area that are unrelated. Um, what Remy's showing us here is all that behind scrim a construction there's been a lot of debate about people were hoping it would be a new ramp just like the old school ramp that we used to have no it's not going to be that we're going to show you what it is in just a second and here here's a look from the uh terrace at space mountain so those are definitely stairs absolutely stairs no ramp i'm sorry to say not an elevator but just stairs emergency egress stairs uh i don't know why they needed those back down on the ground on the other side of those walls we did a video today, which we talked about. These are the new FastPass stations. These are going to be universal FastPass machines for every FastPass attraction in Tomorrowland, which would be Space Mountain Star Tours and Buzz Lightyear. Uh, we'll have a debate on the you know how useful those things are. You know what that means for the future of FastPasses in today's regular video, and then we'll stop here again at the scrim over by Astro Orbiter to show you that they, the the scrim was down actually for a bit. And because of the winds that we had, the San Andreas that rolled through, and people got to look at what it looked like behind those scrims. Now, the question is, they stripped it. Whatever, you know, the, the, there was a, an applied texture to the exterior of the Star Tours building. And that applied texture, which, uh, you know, sort of, it was on both sides of Tomorrowland. There was the one on Star Tours and the one on Buzz Lightyear. And the question that I had was, if it was just paint, would they have had to strip that texture that, that, that it's like an applique, I guess, uh, in order just to paint them? And the answer is probably not. You probably don't have to strip it in order to paint it. So this is likely more than just paint. Now, does it mean a new texture or does it mean that there was something else that they were fixing? And it wasn't just, you know, because it could just be a paint job. Although I don't really feel like it needed a paint job. It was an odd thing to, for them to do anyway. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like the thing was showing any kind of wear and tear, to my memory anyway. So, you know, it's kind of curious. <laughs> I, I, I'm really curious why they decided they needed to do this at all, considering how little time, money, and effort they've been putting into Tomorrowland over the years, why they suddenly decided they needed to do the Star Tours and Buzz Lightyear exterior upgrade or, you know, update. So we'll stay tuned for that. That's a very fascinating, interesting little detail that I would like to know more about. Moving over to Toontown. Okay, I know you guys are all wondering about the hills and what our comments are about the Toontown and the hills have come down. Here's a shot of what you can see now. Those used to be mountains. We got a video coming out tomorrow where the gang and I will discuss all of that. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I don't want to get into too much detail on that there because we're going to have a very lengthy discussion on that, uh, but suffice it to say, the hills are down, uh, and that's that's because they are attached to the show to the building that they had the demo in order to build Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So the building comes down, and that, when that comes down, the mountains have to come down. Now it should be noted, but you can't see it out of frame to the left, that one of the main the actual hill with Toontown on it, the Toontown you know Hollywood type sign is still there. So my guess is if they're leaving that hill, those mountains there, that when they come back, when, they, when they're when they going to reinstall those mountains, those hills, and it'll probably look just like it did before. That's my guess. Otherwise, if they weren't, they would have taken them all down. Also, while we're there, 
This is what I'm talking about when it comes to Toontown. Please, Disney, please, 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 please put some money into this place. Toontown needs your help. All right. Haven't forgotten about Matterhorn either. Uh, that's still under construction. As a matter of fact, this may be a whole other video that I'm going to work on about the future of the Matterhorn. It's not looking good. Um, our, our ninja, Remy, got a close-up. Look at that. The Matterhorn is made of wood. <laughs> I mean, I, it, it, we all know that like in our, in our minds, but just to see all that wood in there, and it doesn't look good. It doesn't look like healthy wood, if you ask me. Doesn't it look a little bit shaky? Uh, the Matterhorn is in rough shape, you guys. The Matterhorn needs some TLC. Now, what that means for the future of the Matterhorn, I'm not sure. And, you know, time will tell. They, they have to do some kind of um, evaluation. So expect to see the Matterhorn go offline very soon. And for how long? We don't know. We don't know. Uh, but there you go. That's, that's just kind of what we're dealing with there. And that is probably indicative of a lot of the areas on the Matterhorn. It just happens to be this is where it's showing the most. This is the part that decayed first. It, it won't be long. Uh, so as of today, as we continue... Uh, the Tomorrowland side of the Matterhorn is still offline. It's a ghost town here on this track. Nothing happening on the Matterhorn on the Tomorrowland side, but the Fantasyland side is still working. Meanwhile, you're in the shot, guys. Get a shot. Uh, the scrims are down now in front of the hut. No tapestries or anything like that attached to the front of it yet. Hoping they will still do that, but I love this little ladder that they've installed. They've, they've even d designed it you know, purposely with decay, broken rungs, that kind of thing. The water's back running again, which is great because when that water is stagnant, it stinks like crazy. Great moments with Mr. Lincoln is behind screen, but still operating. So don't worry about that. Let's go to DCA. Don't worry about that. For all those people who love, <laughs> love to go to great moments with Link, Mr. Lincoln. I know you're worried. Oy vey. Uh, DCA, uh, Avengers Campus. Isn't it weird where this is supposed to be the, the key thing that we're watching these days and it just doesn't seem to be getting the, uh, I don't know, excitement or energy on updates. We, have, we, we would dedicate, dedicate a whole show to Galaxy's Edge, but this is now item 10 or whatever on our update this week. I wonder what that means. That tent that you're seeing right there, we're going to pause. That tent right there is not a real tent. That's not part of the... Um, I had asked Dustin about that. I'm like, why did they put that tent in there, dude? <laughs> he says, no, it's not staying. Uh, that's just that, that's there to cover, to protect whatever it is that they're working on on that roof line there. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure why that area needed more attention, more protection than other areas do, but that's what he said. That, that, the tent parts of that will come down, and it'll look more like the concept art uh, once they you know, finish doing that. Also, you can see a big crane there. They're, that crane is lifting in an actual... That I, I'm like, that looked like a trash bin to me, but I wasn't sure, so I asked. And he said, yep, that's a trash bin. Uh, that they're, it's just for debris. They're gonna, they probably got a lot of stuff on there, and they got to put it all in the trash bin, and they'll bring the trash bin down. I didn't know they did that. Interesting. Let's continue. Uh, it's, it's difficult these days, like we saw at Galaxy's Edge, to, to really spot... Anything like, oh my gosh, this thing is happening because there's just so much steel and scrim and it's hard to tell, you know, one thing from another about what's happening. It's difficult to define stuff, but you can see they're, they are just moving right along here. There's all kinds of stuff happening. Uh, Avengers Campus is growing before our very eyes. One thing you can notice right down there, if you guys see that, there's a ladder coming out of the ground there, which means there's still trench work being done. That's right about where the, the red car trolley would pull in. That's right about, right, that's right about where it would pull in to uh, park, we're assuming, or pick up guests inside of that Avengers building. And then we're going to take a look backstage. Nothing to see here backstage at the moment, but this is something that we're going to keep watching to see if anything happens, because there is a permit was filed to build a new cast member building, not not Marvel or Avengers Campus, but just for cast members in that area back there. 
And by the way, I have, it is my understanding that, that Mission Breakout will be closing soon for a, an extended period of time. Well, not a long time, but sometime. Uh, the assumption is that it's going to be closing for, you know, in conjunction with something that they're doing with Avengers Campus. My guess is some sort of thematic connection between the two lands, and they need to connect uh, you know, Galaxy's Edge, I mean, uh, Mission Breakout, Galaxy's Edge, Mission Breakout with the rest of Avengers Campus. And then here's a shot from Mission Breakout of, uh, that. that's, okay, so that's Pim Food right there. Uh, that's part of the Pim Food building. And then, we come, oh, we're coming back in again. Okay, and then to its left is the, what will eventually be the entrance, the front of the Avengers e-ticket that's on the way. We won't be able to see much there, but we're showing that. Here's something interesting. Now that the Fast Pass stations are open, the old Tower of Terror th theming is still there. They've decided that it's no longer Tower of Terror theming if they just put a T-Von Collection sticker on that luggage. That's the dumbest thing in the whole wide world, if you ask me. Uh, I, <laughs> I, why... <laughs> What are you doing, Disney? Honestly, there are just some decisions that I don't understand. And I know this is trivial. It's trivial. But what, what does... Finish the job. Finish the job is what I'm saying. You've got, you're, you're making this thing Marvel-themed Avengers. This luggage has literally nothing to do with Mission Breakout. But, but apparently it does now because they put that sticker on there. I don't like that. I think it's lazy. Uh, I do appreciate they at least aging the sticker. They they went ahead and put some grease on it and made it look like it's been through baggage check, you know, a few hundred times. That's nice. But uh, we just give us new, just give us new a new. Hey, over at the <laughs> Toy Story parking lot, new things are happening. Uh, they're building a new Toy Story parking lot hub for you know uh, bus centralized bus hub which is going to be far more uh detailed and elaborate than the, the the current deal is and that's because they're going to incorporate bag check and that's where this is this is going to have bag check and restrooms and it's a whole thing and it's going to have probably have proper facilities for the cast members because i've always wondered where do the cast members go to do literally anything in the parking lot because <laughs> there's no place for them to go uh now here listen to this guys we got a little speech from our bus driver on our way in or back to the parking lot. Well, if you were aboard my first guided tour over here, I remember your part in, I think, Woody in the Toy Story parking lot. This is the new addition to the Toy Story parking lot. This is now named Bullseye. We will have restrooms here for you and also over at the drop off and pick up area. Finally, I want to close with or back at the, the pedestrian path at the downtown Disney parking lot. You guys remember that one time when when Disney made this beautiful path for us and said, here, have this lovely little walk. You can stroll down uh, through this uh, beautifully landscaped 
path with wonderful grass. And then we just said thank you and then did this to it. We did this. This is why we can't have nice things, Fresh Baked, because people do that. So I want, I, I want to rant here. I really, really do. But Dustin did point out one thing. So here's what's happening. People have worn a path through the grass because they're cutting through the grass to walk through the parking lot. They don't want us to go through the parking lot. That's why they built this path. They don't want us to go through the parking lot because it's a little more you know, unsafe. Uh, it's less appealing. It's not very nice to walk through a parking lot than it is. It's not as nice to walk, you know, than it is to walk through a, a lovely path like they have. It's well lit with grass and stuff like that. I thought that was really nice. People did that. So now this is how it looks today. They have put up these, uh, this scrim here. And as uh, Ron walked the path on Saturday morning, he decided to do us all a favor point his camera up over it and found that they're gonna they're putting a concrete path connecting it to the parking lot so there's all the landscaping and then that right there on the left part of the frame I, Ron couldn't see so <laughs> he's doing his best but there's the concrete path that they're going to extend now right I'm, I'm like super super aggravated about this because uh, you know some I, some guests, a certain percentage of guests, I'm not saying all of them, but a certain percentage of guests cannot be trusted to, to be respectful. And it drives me nuts. Uh, but but as we back up, Dustin pointed out, they it looks like to him, like they maybe had always planned to do this. There's the, there's the concrete there. And that concrete that we're seeing that isn't, or that was already there, poured, was there before, even when they first opened the place. If we go back to the video... This is when the path first opened, the morning it opened, and you can see those four yellow poles there indicating, they're telling you to stay away, basically. That's what those poles are there, but you can see on the other side of those poles is that concrete. That concrete was there, which would suggest that they were going to connect them. Why else would you put, why else would you put a, like, it's like a driveway almost. So, having said that, it's true. They probably did, maybe, I, he's not even sure, doesn't, couldn't understand why they even put the grass there to begin with, if that was their intent. But still, having said that, don't walk on the grass. You don't have to walk on the grass. Walk the path. It's beautiful. Enjoy it. Like, you're going to save a minute and a half. You're going to save a minute and a half by crossing through the, the parking lot instead of taking the path as prepared for you. We ask a lot of Disney we ask a lot of them to entertain us and to provide you know, value for our dollar. The least we can do is enjoy what they give to us and treat it with respect. That's all I'm saying, you guys. Uh, I know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, you know, there's only, it's a small percentage. It doesn't take a lot of people to do that, to make that, to give it that worn look. It doesn't take much, but it, but it is, it, it does take some. Uh, just walk the path. And with that, Fresh Break, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Trying to do the right thing. That's all I'm saying. I got to go, Fresh Break. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see you next time. Fresh Break. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Break.